Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had a lot of questions about eyeshadow application, how to make it easier. So hopefully these tips and tricks will sort of help you to be a little bit more confident in trying new colors and wearing eyeshadow. And the tips that I'm going to give you today are going to be able to be put into your arsenal of skills and you'll be able to rock any color eyeshadow that you want. Without further ado, I'm just gonna hop into it because uh, my videos are notoriously long. An eyeshadow doesn't have to be expensive to be good quality. When you look for an eyeshadow, you want to look for texture, pigmentation, and blendability. Those are the three most important things in terms of finding an eyeshadow. The first one, and the most important one, is pigmentation. So when you swatch it on your hand, you should get a nice color payoff, and it should be a solid color. Second, you want to look for the texture of an eyeshadow. A eyeshadow shouldn't be chunky or dusty. It shouldn't crumble when you try to take it out of the palette. So you want something that's kind of buttery feeling that sticks to your skin really well. You want something that will stick to your skin but blend out easily. So that's the third thing you want to look for. Every time I swatch an eyeshadow in a store, I basically I'll swatch it on my hand, check the pigmentation, check the texture, and then I'll take my other finger and blend out the edge to see how well it blends into the skin. If it checks out on all three, I'm probably going to buy it. Now, your eyeshadows don't have to be expensive name brand eyeshadows in order to be good or good quality or to work well and look beautiful. There's quite a few really great inexpensive makeup lines in your drugstore. My favorite right now is NYX. I love their eyeshadows. They're well pigmented, they're really buttery, they blend really easily and I'm going to be using them today to show you the step, basic steps of eyeshadow. The most important thing in terms of applying eyeshadow in a really beautiful way is the brushes that you use. And I always suggest for beginners to buy a blending brush. A fluffy blending brush. This is going to be your best friend ever in the world. It just makes application really fast, really easy, and it blends everything kind of for you as you apply it. So the reason why a blending brush is so great to have is because it's so fluffy, it disperses the eyeshadow really evenly in a thin layer so you don't get too much eyeshadow at once. When you pick up your eyeshadow, it picks up just a tiny bit over the whole edge of the brush so when you put it on, it will be a really nice wash of color and then you can go back in and darken it up. The next kind of brush that I want to talk about is a paddle brush and this is just a little paddle brush. Um, it's a lot more dense, it's a lot more stiff so this one is really great for packing on color and defining the crease and you pick up the color with the side of your brush and then you can pack it onto the lid. So the next brush that you might want to take a look into is a shorter, denser packing brush. This is a lot shorter, you can see the bristles are a lot shorter and a lot more dense and this will pick up more color than both of those brushes. So if you want a really intense look or you're trying to make your eyeshadow a lot more opaque, this is the perfect brush for that. Again, you pick up the color and you pack it on the lid, then you use your blending brush to blend it all away. The next thing that I want to talk about is cleaning out your brushes. Now, this is really important and I do this constantly every day, every time I do any kind of makeup. Basically what you want to do is you want to Take a tissue, so take a tissue, and you get all of the color out of your brush, and then you can use that brush to blend the edges because it's clean again. The reason why this is so important is because if you have color on your brush still and you try to blend an edge, you're just going to keep depositing more color where you don't want it. Basically, the steps are place the color, clean the brush, blend the edges. So first I'm going to be using Joe Fresh's, this is Silk, and it's just a really nice sort of creamy neutral kind of color. If you don't have a color like this, I do suggest in investing in one paddle brush here. And I'm going to pick up the color like this on the side. So I've got, see how much color that brush picks up? You tap it just to get all the extra off. And you basically want to just pack that on the lid. I like keeping the lid 
bright and lighter because it gives you the impression of having more open eyes. Take a little bit of that and just go under the brow bone. And I always use this kind of color. I just got some on my nose. I always use this kind of color sort of in the tear duct as well. Now, this really opens up the eye again. Now, I have two NYX colors. You've seen these before. Um, it's, one of them is called Dances the Tides. This is a darker color. And this one is called Blame It on Midnight. It's a lighter mid-tone. I always suggest having three eyeshadow colors. You want a highlight color, then you want something in the middle, and then you want something darker. Now this is going to ensure that your blend is really smooth and it's going to create a lot of depth. I'm going to take my blending brush here and I'm going to pick up some colors. So I'm going to pick it up in a swirling motion so you can see and then I'm going to tap that out because a lot of it will fall out. I'm just going to go through the crease in a windshield wiper motion and you can see how softly that's applied. I didn't do anything special, I just back and forth windshield wiper. I'm going to pick up a little bit more color, tap out my brush, and I'm going to repeat the same step. You want to make sure that your brush is clean, so you're going to wipe it on a tissue and like hardly anything comes out but you don't want that color to deposit on your face. So now, if you have any sort of edges that you don't really like, just go back in over the edge. See how I'm in between the brown and the light color? And you just want to go over that a little bit. Now I'm going to take the same brush, I'm going to take that darker color, I'm going to pick it up again, just a little bit on the end. This time I'm not coating the whole brush, Again, tap it, it's important. The darker colors you want to concentrate in the outer corner and lower in the crease. So see how this is all blended now? I'm going to concentrate this color just below it and the blending brush is going to do a lot of the work for me. So I'm going to make a sort of little triangle shape in the outer corner. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit more color and if you work in smaller amounts, you can always add more. It's really hard to take it away so always work in smaller amounts. I'm gonna go back over that and then I'm gonna work it towards the inner. So you see how we've darkened up that side and I'm going to just take that same brush and work the rest of the color into the upper crease. One of the things I'd like to point out too is you'll notice that I always put my brush down first where I want it to be darkest. That's really important because you're going to deposit most of the color there and then whatever's left on your brush you're going to work out. So I'm going to take my tissue again, I'm going to clean out my brush, so just wiping it off and then I'm going to go back in anywhere where it doesn't look quite right and I'm just going to go over it and blend it. And I use my fingers a lot. If my line's not quite straight or anything like that, I'll actually wipe it off with my finger. A little bit more color and I'm just going to add it where I need it to be a little bit darker. And see it's not quite smooth. So what you can do too is take your lighter color again, pick some up on your blending brush and just go over that edge. Just picked up a little bit more color. There we go. Go in and do the same thing on the other eye. And eyeshadow shapes are really up to you, but I do like keeping that this open. It just really makes a huge difference. So I cleaned out my brush. I'm going to work it in again. One of the other tips I can give you is if you're, it looks uneven but you can't figure out exactly why, if you tilt your head back, you can see where it's darker. So I need to add a little bit more of the darker brown to the inner part right here. Now I'm going to blend it again. Take a bit of that light color. 
take that mid-tone. I'm gonna load up the end of my brush this time. This is that paddle brush. I'm gonna load up the end of it. Go in the outer corner underneath the eye just to about halfway. Take the darker brown now, that same brush, same, loading it on the tip of the brush. Just darken up just the outer corner a little bit. Clean out your brush. Get all that, see all the color that's coming out? And I'm just gonna go over the edge a little bit. Just to make it nice and smooth. So this is the look you can pop on your eyeliner and be on your way. I'm gonna show you now this little stubby brush and what it does. Take that darker color and I'm gonna pick some up on the end of the brush. I'm going to tap it again. And this is really important that you place it where you want it. Don't just put it on there and then try to blend it to where you want it. You wanna put it in again that outer corner See how much more color that's deposited? I just picked up a little bit more. And I'm just gonna blend it a tiny bit with this brush. Before I blend it, I'm going to place it on the other side exactly the same way that I did on that side, so. I'm going to take what's left on my brush and I'm just going to drag it in a little. Now I'm going to take my puffy blending brush, make sure it's clean. Don't blend on top of where you put the color, blend on the edge. This applies with any color at all. You want to have a mid-tone a very like a light highlight color and you want to have a darker color just to create the drama. I like to take this lighter color on the edge of my paddle brush and actually this is most days. I'll blend a little bit underneath the eye. It keeps everything open. This is a Revlon Color Stay eyeliner in brown and I'm gonna have this brush on standby. This is a dual ended Stila brush. It's fairly stiff. Um, this one is really great for blending eyeliner with. Go into the outer corner and just sort of dot it in. It doesn't have to be neat. And you want it to be thicker in the outer corner and thinner as it gets inwards. And I'm just going to wing it up a little. Before it sets, I'm going to take this brush and just smudge it. I usually drag out the cat eye underneath and I'll just add a little bit in the outer corner. Take that smudger brush and just blend it in. That's, that's basically, you know, the gist of eyeshadow application. If you guys find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below any other basic 101 tips that you're curious about. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to head over to my Geek and Sundry channel um, with all the other awesome vloggers. We're all over there doing stuff every week. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.